Hollywood's greatest actresses. Please welcome Robert Wagner. Have a seat. Oh boy, you smell so good. I was Do just, I, I was actually describing you to the audience before as a human cashmere sweater. <laughs> well, it kind of works today, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Yeah. Um, you know, you've been in show business for what, 65 years? Yes. Is that just right? Just about, yes. And you've worked with some of the most incredible actresses, including uh, you. In, well, I mean, nice. and, and, and me. He's worked with. Can I talk about that for a second? Sure. I have to tell you, yeah. when I saw you, my illegitimate daughter, yes. and Michael Weatherly, my illegitimate son, together yeah. co-hosting, you were great. Oh, thank you. Uh, We've known each other. You had nothing. You had nothing. I, I, was, I was sitting there at home, you know, because I'm, I'm an avid watcher. Aww. You know, and <clears throat> I was just swelling up, you know, there, there are my children. Yes. There they are, you Well, know? it's so funny because he is one of these men, and, you know, Mark does, Mark does an incredible impersonation of you. <laughs> but, and uh, so does Ted McGinley, but Michael Weatherly's is the best impersonation. Yeah, By the does, way, he... I want Mark and Kelly to remake Heart to Heart. That'd be a good idea. I, yeah. Don't you think that is the best idea? That'd be a good idea. Right? I think it so can't be remade because it was the greatest show ever, and, and you two, oh, I mean, you're you. perfection. I, I have got to ask you a question about the book, because you write about so many great actresses. You write, I love what you write about Joan Crawford and about Betty Davis, and they were notoriously feuding. Um, whose side were you on in that feud? Oh. <laughs> well, I wasn't really around. Okay. Right. You know, when they were, they were, you know, this, that, so that, that feud started a long time ago. Got it. You know, got it. it went back years and years and, and years. The root of it was well i think the root of it was that i understand was when joan crawford went to warner brothers and betty davis was the queen of warners yes know? and that's when it all started yes and she but, she didn't feel that joan was really an actress of her caliber she thought joan was more of like a like a a, a shiny object right yes and something that's an, an actress that came from mgm right you know which was the studio at the right. time but you know they they were fantastic the whole idea of this book is it's uh it's all for these wonderful ladies. It's a tribute to these marvelous women who gave mm. us all so much. And uh, I had a good time doing it. My, you know, I wrote a couple of other books uh, with Scott Iman. Yeah. And uh, we got this idea and we started kicking it around a little bit and yeah. thinking that how could it work and... You're a terrific writer. I have <laughs> to say, I'm very lucky. I've surrounded myself in life quite accidentally by uh, amazing storytellers. You being one of them, Andy being one yeah, of them. You are a you terrific storyteller. <laughs> yeah, really. Thank you. Um, your we, book is... Yeah. Your book is coming. Your book is My coming. book's out today, too. Today, too. Yes. Our, both of our books you are out. You guys should go on a tour together. I would like love it. Come to Boston with me Friday night. I, 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 think, I think we're pretty close. Yeah, I think we, we are. We're going around together. <laughs> yeah, Listen, we, we, we are. We have to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to hear about one actress, one actress in particular, who made it very difficult for everyone on set. We'll find out who that is. <laughs> Hollywood uh, superstars, these legends. And you mentioned one person in particular that really made um, working on set difficult. Who was this person and what made her so difficult? I mentioned that? Yeah, you did. <laughs> I remember I'm, who it was. I you, I yes, who? Yes, was Shelley Winters? Was oh, Shelley. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. Shelley, yeah. <laughs> Shelley had sort of a reputation for that. Right. And, um, you know, she was very demanding and very, I, I don't know whether she was anxious or what. You know, you know how that can yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, but, and you also worked with Marilyn Monroe. I did. I, well, I knew Marilyn. When she, we all started together. Yeah. And she was just a, a young girl on the lot at, at 20th Century Fox, and I was the test boy, and I did both of her tests. And uh, she was a marvelous lady. She was a terrific lady. And a lot, I liked a lot her of a lot. people, a lot of people, um, 
said that she seemed like a wounded bird almost. Yes, or a... I, I've heard that expression yeah. before. But I, you know, Kelly, I had the opportunity of working with so many women. I was so so gifted yeah. uh, to have that opportunity. And uh, you know, we thought that uh, Scott and I that this would be an idea for a book, and we, we put together a couple of, uh, of, uh, of women and, and presented it to our literary agent, uh, Mort Chanklo, and he thought it was a good idea, and we it's took it to our I'm so glad you did. I'm really glad you did, because it's fascinating, and I'm I so love, I it. love Hollywood so And they were so lucky, by the way, can I say, they were lucky to have worked with you as well. Oh, the women you. that worked with you were lucky, trust well, me, because you are... Called,